what is up youtube hope you're having a really good day today wherever you are in this world so in today's video just like it says in the title we're going to be talking about the top three niches in my opinion for halloween now you've probably seen the word quarter four fling around a lot i've made a previous video based on my plan for quarter four probably seen a lot of halloween books go onto amazon so today's video is fairly mandatory you know just to give my two cents on the topic i'm going to be talking about the thought process and everything that goes behind me picking these top three niches and why i think it'll give you a lot of royalty so if you like videos like this one, I'd encourage you to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I bring out videos just like this one. But without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into those niches. So just before I start on the niches, I'm going to talk briefly about what Halloween is for those that don't know so much, because I know I do have quite a lot of viewers that aren't from Western countries. So Halloween is basically a Christian celebration for remembering the dead. And that's how it started out anyway. Obviously, these days, it's a lot more commercialized, just like Christmas. Um, basically, it's probably one of the most popular Western holidays. Um, and it's not just for children, by the way. Adults also enjoy Halloween a lot, but obviously in a different way to children do. Um, and obviously the themes of Halloween include things uh, like folklore, such as vampires, witches and stuff like that, as well as certain activities such as trick and treating, carving pumpkins and watching scary films and all that good stuff. Now, of course, if you don't know too much about Halloween, then I would recommend you go onto word lists. So I'll leave the uh, the link for this website down below. Um, there's a theme for Halloween and it basically shows you all the words that are associated with Halloween. So if you're going to make a Halloween book, as I suggest in this video, then you can see all the topics pertaining to Halloween in this list here, such as mausoleums and all these bunches of words that you can, you know, just look up to see what it means and then put into your own book. So that's going to be in the link in the description below. Low. Having said all that, let's get started with niche number one. So niche number one is Halloween I Spy book. So let's go on and have a look at a sample I Spy book. If you don't know what an I Spy book is, let's just have a look in this one because I think if I just show you, it's going to be easier than describing it. So essentially, it's a, a color book um, and it has, you know, two So essentially, it's like the I Spy game. So I Spy with My Little Eyes, I'm the beginning with a letter. And then obviously from the images, you have to pick the one that starts with the letter that you've I Spied. So this one's I Spy with My Little Eyes, I'm the beginning with A. So you'll see a bunch of images here. And obviously you have to pick the one that's beginning with A. So it would be this apple here. And then the next page would say A is for apple. Now this is an enjoyable game for kids age two to five so this is a halloween themed one so it pertains to halloween now why have i chosen it so let's scroll down to this graph here this is basically showing sales over time this is a graph from helium 10 it's the extension that you can download for absolutely free and it basically shows you this graph which is very very helpful because then it shows you you know how well this book is selling over time whether it's seasonal whether it's evergreen and things like that so i'd recommend getting helium 10 if you haven't done so already free however the next bit i'm going to show you which is their keyword research tool is actually a paid service you do get two free searches um, but then after that you have to pay for their keyword research tool and it's that keyword research tool i'm going to be using to describe to you why i think this niche is good so if you do want to get helium 10 for unlimited keyword research and other things then i do have a link in the description below it should give you 10 or 50 percent of discounts depending on what plan you want to choose so if you're interested in stepping up your niche research and keyword research then go ahead and check out helium 10 in the description below so with that being said again let's jump into the keywords for this i spy book and you will see from one of the keywords as to why i have chosen this book as the top three niche for halloween so after letting that load you can see this kind of interface here and as we scroll down 
you'll see that there are a bunch of keywords. Now, this is the keywords that the book has already ranked for, and it will give you the search volume for each keyword. That is the amount of times a customer searched that keyword every month. And then you also get this Cerebro IQ score, which is a ratio of supply and demand. So the higher the Cerebro IQ here score here, the better as there is more demand versus supply. So as we can filter this, let's filter the search volume here and we'll get to one of the top keywords, which is I spy book for kids aged two to five. Now you'll see that it has a monthly search volume of 5,050 and it has an absolutely insane Cerebro IQ score of 7,617. So this is really high when you compare it to other things. So for example, toddler book is 58. Halloween books for kids is 929. So it's not that high. Although it has high search volume, the IQ score is fairly low because there's a lot of competition. But for this I Spy book for kids age two to five, there isn't a lot of competition. And there is a very high search volume as well. 5,050 is high for a monthly basis. Now with Halloween coming up, this book targets two major keywords. So of course, Halloween, which of course will have quite a bit of competition as a lot of people are gonna be publishing Halloween, but also I Spy, which as you saw, has a lot of searches in a month, but doesn't have a lot of competition. So it's a fairly unsaturated niche to be in. So I Spy Halloween is niche number one. Now, so niche number two actually follows quite a common keyword. It's Halloween coloring book for adults. Now this one may seem quite obvious one to go for, but I wanted to really point it out because I wanted to show you how much better this keyword is compared to a lot of others you may be thinking of publishing in. So I'm going to pull up the Helium 10 like I did for niche number one, the I Spy book, um, just by scrolling down here and pressing keywords and letting it load. So now that it's loaded, you can see that again, we have the same interface. And as we scroll down here, we just want to filter these keywords by search volume. So there's 1,446 keywords. Oops, let's let that load. Um, and as you can see now, we've got the highest searched keywords at the top here. So obviously adult coloring book at 223,000 is always a good keyword to rank for. But if we scroll down a little bit, You'll notice that Halloween coloring book is here at 8,900 with a Cerebro IQ score of 2,200. So that's the metric for supply versus demand. And now if we scroll down to this one here, Halloween coloring books for adults has a search volume of 4,800. So half of just this Halloween coloring book here, but the Cerebro IQ score is significantly higher, meaning there's a lot less books for Halloween coloring books for adults than just Halloween coloring book. Now, if we compare that to Halloween coloring books for kids, um, which is just down here somewhere, you can see Halloween coloring books for kids have less search volume here and also less Cerebro IQ score by quite a bit as well, mind you. So instead of 4,000 odd, this score is 1,685, meaning that there's a lot more Halloween coloring books for kids on the market than Halloween coloring books for adults. And that's why I suggest you publish Halloween coloring books for adults if you're gonna go for coloring books. Now let's just have a quick look inside of this one just to show you what it kind of looks like. And it's nothing too, too complex. This can be easily done on Fiverr. There's plenty of listings people that will help you do this. Of course, there's a hundred unique designs, so it's quite a big book, but it's already got 552 reviews. And as you can see from this graph, it's already starting to sell extremely well as of the end of August. So if you're gonna publish this one, I suggest you get in there sooner rather than later. So for niche number three, it's gonna be very similar to this Halloween coloring book, but it's one that I think a lot of people will overlook in the pursuit for Halloween. And it is the autumn coloring book. So I've done a keyword research on the autumn coloring books. And admittedly at first glance, it doesn't look all that impressive. The search volume is a lot lower and the Cerebro IQ score isn't that much better than it was for the Halloween coloring book. But it's the trend in the search volume that's going up so much that has led me to put this as number three on the lists. 
So as you can see for the full coloring book and the full coloring book for adults, if you didn't know, fall and autumn are the same thing, just autumn everywhere in the world and fall in the US. Um, but essentially the search volume trend has gone up so much. And if we have a quick Amazon search, you can see that this trends, the people publishing and the kind of ranks they've been getting on their book kind of supports this data. So you can see I've filtered it to the last 30 days, sought by most reviews. And as you scroll down, you can see books published in the last 30 days already attaining an incredible rank. So this one, Country Autumn, 3,310 in books. Easy Autumn Coloring Book, 6,000 in books. Uh, autumn Patterns, 23,000. And this was published, you know, three weeks ago. Um, autumn Scenes here, which was published less than a week ago at the time of this recording. And it's already 29,000 in the ranks. This next one here, 185,000. And it was published three weeks ago. If we scroll past those ones there. Um, 50 autumn scenes coloring books 618 but they got not a very good rank 65,000 for this one here and the list kind of keeps on going country autumn at 10,000 this was published four days ago 17,000 for Halloween and autumn coloring book 26,000 for autumn charm 147,000 for autumn scenes and the list just keeps on going I could scroll through this all day and you'll see the ranks for these books are very good so halloween halloween so skip those autumn coloring book 158,000. autumn scenes 190,000. easy autumn adult coloring book 152,000. so there is just so much data support autumn coloring books being a very good one if you publish one now for sure it would do have a good chance of doing really well of course, on top of that, there's a few intricacies that I think people will overlook. So, of course, if you make a Halloween coloring book, then you can put very similar images into your autumn coloring book as well because they intertwine so much because Halloween is not autumn. And the color scheme is very similar, you know, the orange of the leaves and the orange of the pumpkins and stuff like that. So there is a big overlap there. So if you're going to pay someone to make Halloween scenes, then it'd be very easy for them to make autumn scenes for you. So you've basically got two in one. And of course, the thing I said before as well, autumn and fall are the same thing, but it's an intricacy that could be overlooked, especially if you didn't know that fact. So you might call it an autumn coloring book and forget to put full anywhere in the keywords and therefore you will not be ranked for full. So you'll be missing out on a lot of sales and vice versa there. So if you are going to publish this one, make sure you mention autumn and fall because they are the same thing, just different words for different regions. So with that being said, I think I have covered the top three niches and why I would pick them for maximum sales for the Halloween period. If you do have any questions, put them in the comment below and I will answer every single one of you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.